Cinnamon is the color of the Jersey Dairy Cow. And we're on a ridge here, so that's how the, the name Cinnamon Ridge came about. Welcome to Cinnamon Ridge Dairy Farms. We are a fifth generation dairy and we've started this location in 1988. My husband John and I have this together along with daughter Amy who runs everything dairy here at the farm. Here at Cinnamon Ridge, all of our milk goes into making cheese in one form or another. Our milk we use on the farm, we make 100 gallon batches of cheese one or two times a week and we make our own cheese here on the farm which would be cheddar cheese and then we also make Gouda cheese. I am fifth generation Jersey dairy farmer in Scott County, Iowa, which is halfway between Chicago and Des Moines. Very, very productive land. So let's dig into soil health and, and the, the prosperity of the soil. And one of the things that I really believe in is manure and manure as part of that soil health and building the soils and building everything. Also, soil health is a important piece to uh, having earthworms in there. One of the things that, that earthworms need is that carbon, and the, the carbon is used along with the fertilizers to make it, and so once again, we're back to carbon being taken out of the atmosphere and making it better for the global warming aspect and those sorts of things as well. We are believers in a full cycle, as most dairy farms are. And that full cycle is those cows are eating feed that is grown here on the farm, the corn silages, the haze, uh, those sorts of things. So we put that manure out on the land in the spring and in the fall, and we incorporate it in and it grows the plants richer and better than ever. After we take the corn off for corn silage, for high moisture corn, or just regular corn, and then we bale the corn stalks for bedding, is we take that and we plant rye. And that rye is planted in the fall, it stays green all winter long, and then come late April and May, we harvest that rye for silage. But that rye does so much more than feed our animals. It is part of the Clean Water Act. And what that is doing is, that rye is taking those nutrients it takes that and uses those nutrients so that doesn't get into our water, creating a much cleaner water. So I have a sign as we enter the driveway that says cover crops for clean water. And that's exactly what's happening with that. The Maxwells have been milking cows here for over 150 years. However, in 2012, we started milking with robots. We started with 80 cows and two robots, and then in March of 2013, we added two more robots and are milking 250 cows. The cows come in whenever they want. The robot identifies them by a box behind their left ear. What's great about robots is they work 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. They've taken our lowest paid position and replaced it with robotics. So that allows people that work here at the farm to work more with the cow comfort, our robots are huge on technology, but more importantly, data is being collected. We collect data on individual cows, which includes the components, how much milk she's producing. In addition, how many steps does she take a day? How often does she chew her cud? Those are all indication of, of herd health. The other things is we're monitoring feed intake. One of the things that we do is try to find nutritious feed for the cows that would normally be thrown away and end up in a landfill. We've tried lots of different products. One of the things we feed is cotton seed. That's pretty common amongst dairy. But what is uncommon is we fed chocolate cake mix. We've tried other things, pop tarts, but we settled on coffee creamer. You say, why would someone want to get rid of humanly consumed coffee creamer? And the answer is because it's out of date. So, it's going to go to the landfill or it's going to go somewhere else. And so we bought coffee creamer. We went half a pound per, per cow per day and the cows raised. It raised us up to these Jersey cows are number one in the nation for milk and number one in the nation for protein for Jersey cows. One of the facets of sustainability is also profitable sustainability. Just because it's sustainable, from an environmental, it also has to be sustainable from a, a financial point of view. 
Yeah, the National Farm Program is a requirement of many of the processors that we as farmers need to adhere to to enable our, to sell our milk. And we sell our milk to a cheese company. It's an acronym for Farmers Assuring Responsible Management. And along with that, it's cow comfort, it's treating the land right, and it's treating employees right. And so everything melds together what's best for the cows, what's best for the farm, what's best for the land, and what's best for the family.